I am Cat Blitz, and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to share some exciting new products I just got today from Mr. Penn. You all know how much I enjoy and love Mr. Penn's products. He is really, really stepping up on the um, amount of journaling supplies that he has. I am loving his new stuff, you all. So, um, I, I don't even know where to start. I'll just start on top. I have a whole pile of it. Let me show you really quick. So make sure you get something to drink and you're ready for the new goodies. Sharing the new goodies. So really quick, right on top. I mean, there's this lovely stack. And what is so cool about these are it is like, they're, I'm going to call them pocket size so they're made for the medium to smaller size planners even though you could put them in, in a larger one so they do come I have already opened one up I opened this one up let me just show you the pink one these are the colors for the pink one the purple some lavender what was that for um, like the lavender color those color neutral colors we have this gray color with the blues. Then we have these two green colors. And these two green colors, as you can tell, the flags are different. They're rounded and they have like colored dot circles. And you can write on them. I'm sure you can write on these ones too. But, so I love those ones too. And then this one. What is it, Sissy? What? What is it? She's real talkative today. So, as you can tell. There's one missing. So I'm going to show you what they look like in use. And yours will not come like mine. I catify everything I put in my planner. So let me show you. I'm using mine as a bookmarker. Now they do come with these. Let me take this one out. So they do come for spiral bound or disc bound where you could just pop them in the disc. I don't have anything bound like that as a planner that I'm using, so I literally just cut it off. I'm using it as a bookmarker. You can use these in your planners or in your Bible. So when you are, if you're like me, when you're reading, you want to come back to a passage to mark, maybe to write down, maybe to highlight. I always use like a little flag to mark that spot. So these will be amazing Bible bookmarkers too. Okay, so let me put this one back in there. So like I said, because I have this one, and I'll be also cutting down. Sissy, I can't put you up there. There's no room. No, there's not. There's no room. I'm sorry. She wants me to put it on top of the cabinet, and I can't. All right, so I just cut off the the little, um, I'm going to call them rings for disc, the little things that you punch into the disc. I just cut it off. And I, as you can tell, I added flowers. So these are all from the washi tape shop. And it just, it makes it look cute. So I'm using this as a bookmarker. So I'm just using it for, because I ripped out my bookmarker, my daily bookmarker, I can easily flip through to find out what page I'm on. But because this is just so adorable and I love the flags, I'm going to start using them. Let me figure out what I can do with it. Hold on. Okay, so hopefully that fixed it. I don't know. She's super talkative. My cats are super demanding. But um, so yeah, so I just trimmed that. Now, if my planner was a little bit smaller, I could also trim this excess stuff down here that I don't need. Don't, you know, don't cut the measurements if you need the measurements, but I could just cut this off. But I, I like it. I like it like that. And I can tell... It also gives a little bit more decoration up on top. So that's why I decorated. I was going to put washi tape on it, but yeah, that's that's what I that's what I did with that one. So I will be sharing the one I use in my Bible. I'll be cutting off the rings, but you can also keep the rings on it and use it as supposed to be. So these are super cool. They're sticky tabs or index tabs. Um, also... Find it on his website. Go to Amazon. Super, super fast. You could find it. 
I don't get you know affiliated links I just I don't I'm not worried about receiving money for the links or nothing like that so all my stuff's unaffiliated I just he knows he can send me the items and I'll review it I'll talk about it and I'll share it uh, I'm not worried about receiving money that's just that's not where my thought on my channel is um, I just like sharing goodies so I don't have any links for you guys but Amazon and his I show you always the ISBM number to all the goodies so that should also take you right to it so these ones are new these are called the out what is it outline markers I'm already loving the colors I haven't tested anything out the quality feels amazing like always and there are markers I don't know why it says outline markers maybe you're just supposed to outline with them shake well before using press nip down until it seeps out close immediately after oh so yeah you have to shake it and then you press down to fill up the ink and then you draw hmm. interesting interesting i'll have to definitely try that out all right so i'm gonna have a pile over here the next are going to be posty notes so these are transparent posty notes but they're not just white they do have a color tint to them really 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 love that i have some transparent um, posting notes but the pen is real difficult to find because i use pilot g2s and stuff like that and they just it's easily wiped off no matter how long i let them sit and dry so as i could tell with his they are like the micron they're like the felt tip so let me show you and I also like oh it's not in here okay I'll show you so it's kind of has like this little felt tip so let's see yeah it writes just like the micron would Let's let it sit there and dry because you can kind of see how this one is drying and that one is wet. So let it, I want to let it dry completely. I mean, I can test it real quick to see. But I guarantee you. Oh, wow. That's in, oh, you can't even see it. I'm so sorry about that. Let me do this again. I wasn't even paying attention. And that's like directly right after it was written i thought it needed to dry so i was like i'll leave one wow okay <laughs> you don't use any ball tip you need the, the the felt tip for these transparent ones because when you use the ball tip like this one oh it even writes on differently you see it, it, it smears even if you dry it still smears so felt tip that's what you use for these transparent i'm glad i i did this on on video so you all can know the felt tip is amazing and obviously he has the pin that comes with it so we got these circle ones which are really really super cute it adds an extra little bit of pop to your planners, to your Bibles, to whatever you're using. Um, we got this big square. Again, these are all transparent too. Let me share this ISBN number with you. And there's another one just in case. I think that just gives you a code, but who knows. And then this one right here. Okay. So these are super cool. I cannot wait to use them in my Bibles and my planners. I, that'd be super cute as a planner, especially these colors, these neutral colors in like that color uh, traveler's notebook. Yes. Okay. He also sent some more. I've said I shared several on my channel of these um, Bible tabs. There we go. I don't know why that sounded funny. I was thinking of the word in my head. But it just sounded funny. They're, they're Bible tabs. It's literally what it is. So, but these are neutral. If you're not the real flowery type of person or you don't like patterns or something, 
if you just have like a, a nice Bible, but you don't want to like, I, I guess, I don't want to say downplay the way it looks with flowery and pattern stuff. This neutral color is an awesome idea. Sissy, what are you talking about? There's nothing up there. And if you try to get up there, I hope there's something that's going to hurt you. Yeah. Please be careful. I don't know how you're going to get down. I am not tall enough to grab you. She wants on top of my cabinets. She's so silly. Okay, so check these out too. Neutral of Bible Taps. Okay, so we got those two. Again, these are last. I don't think these are do, 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 transparent. I, I'm going to take them out, obviously. But we know I love, love, love his post his posty notes. The mini posty notes that he has flowery posty notes. He's also bringing these. Yeah, the regular, the regular posty notes. He's also bringing in these beautiful earth tone neutral colors, and you get two stacks of the same color. Beautiful. Love this idea. The quality is absolutely amazing. It's thick, but it's not too thick to where it's going to add extra bulk to your Bible. Way to go, Mr. Penn. Absolutely love, love this. Really love this. And if you ever, for whatever reason, here's a quick tip that you won't get on other channels. Just saying. I'm sorry about my nails. I've been really, really busy with the kitties and I haven't been able to take care of mama. <laughs> I've been put on the back burner for quite some time, so I, I need to start taking care of myself. But um, anyways, so uh, when you're using your post notes and you want, you want to place them on your Bible pa pages, but they're too thin, always make sure you, ex you remove the excess glue. So just do this a couple of times. All right, and that way it collects the oil from your hands and it removes the glue. Nothing's going to be on your hands, so don't be worried about anything like that. But it is lessening the adhesive that is on here. So by the time you place it to your Bible paper and you want to remove it, you're not going to have no kind of damages. So his adhesive is already amazing. I've never had any problems removing any of his um, sticky notes from the Bible. I have shared several videos over how to do this. I even show um, tips on what not to do with your post note, how to rip them off. But okay, so let's just say that's we don't we know that's haven't been here for a while, but let's just say that post note's been there for a while. You want to come back and you want to add something new. So when you go to rip it off, make sure. So real quick, if you haven't seen that last video, I'll show you here, but make sure you go watch that video. Make sure you're not going to do it this way, okay? Do not go against the spine because that you can wrinkle up your page. You can possibly rip your page. Hold down the paper. Come over here where the glue is. Don't come up here and go whoop, rip it off that way. Do not do that. So come over here where the glue is. Let me turn right here and then rip it off this way. There's no kind of wrinkles. There's no kind of stress. There's sometimes if you do not remove the excess glue, there may be like little glue burgers that you will get. Just like wipe them off. It's just, and it will no damage. You will never be able to tell that there is ever a post-it note sitting there. Okay. So there are a few tips. Layla. I was going to get this ball for her, but let me show you. A cute little update on how fast this little chickadee is growing. Okay, put this down here. Put this up here. All right. Come here, Miss Little Girl. Come here, baby girl. Oh, you go. Oh, you're so heavy. Oh, no, let go of the wire. You're so heavy. Look at this big beasties. So, this is Miss Layla. She's been taking up all her mama's time. She's like, I've always wanted to be up here. Layla, where are you at, Layla? Say, I'm the one that's been taking up all her mama's time. Any extra time she has, I'm the one that gets it. I am now running throughout the house. 
I had checked out every single room. What are you doing, Lila? What are you doing, Lila? And a ton of you have been... Oh, no, no. I don't want you going back there. Come on, sweetie. Come on. A lot of you who's been following me on Facebook, you know her story. You know how she has came to be part of the family. She's like, I smell all this stuff on here. I don't know what it is. I don't want to play. Mama, quit trying to make me play. I don't want to play. I don't want to play. No, I don't. I was hoping she'd be cute for you guys, but... She's like, I am not a toy, Mom. Quit trying to make me be a toy. But I have a ton of cute videos. Right now, she's on a, a new environment, so she's really, really careful with herself. And But, okay, so the next ones I do want to show you are some cards. So he has, I've reviewed a few other different um, inspirational cards, encouragement cards. Come here, Lila. Let me get you down. Oh. Say bye, everybody. Bye. <laughs> okay, there you go. Go play. Where's that ball? Let me. Layla, Layla, go get it. Go get it. Now you play, you little stinker butt. Now you play, you little stinker butt. You can't attack a mama. Yeah. This is what I was trying to show you, you goofy. You goofy. Go get it. <laughs> okay, so I have reviewed others um, on other videos. I have a whole playlist where I show different products, so make sure you go check those out. This uh, is his newest, and I really like the stacks, the colors. Again, he's really keeping up with these earth tone, beautiful colors. Um, he does have two stacks of these uh, vertical layouts. Good job, Sissy. You did it all by yourself. Look at that. Look at how big you are. Ain't you proud of yourself? You need to be crying like a little baby. You need to be crying like a little baby. Ain't you proud? You should walk around like a little queenie you are. Okay, she's now the queen. The little princess, or the little one is the princess now. So she got upgraded. But okay, so like what I was saying is that there are two um, vertical up and down uh, cards and then one horizontal one. So that's pretty cool. Haven't seen that in his other ones. They've been mix matched of, you know, the horizontal and vertical together but these are all quotes and they have the beautiful um, colors on the back of them designs not on the back of them just on them the backs are white so you can use these let me show you here in your planners your girl you girls we have these pockets a lot of you never know what to do with them you want to memorize one of these Pop them in here every day, get it out, read a couple of words, read a couple of sentences, and memorize these cards. They're scriptures, they're very, very powerful, and then it's the best weapon we can have. So I really encourage you all. I'm going to be joining you too, and I'll be showing sharing how I'm doing this, but you could put them in these pockets. I decorate my pockets, so I don't like really putting stuff in them, but on the back, of these, I like these horizontal ones. So I got these colorful ones that I just slipped in here for right now. And I do like the verses on them, so I will be reading them. Or you can get one and then just clip it to one of the journals, inside or outside, wherever you want it. This would be the one I will be working on right now. So you can use a few of them in your journals, your planners. Um, you can put a couple back here. You can also place a couple back here and then when you're out in the store you can gift them to somebody you'd be like I don't know give them this and a little Hershey kiss or something like that I don't know it's like hey have a blessed day felt led to give you one of these cards or you know anything just wanted to put a quick smile on your face that would be a cute idea too or you can write like a cute little note to them I mean anything you can use them in happy mail same way all right, so those are some ideas what you can do. Again, you can place them in your Bibles. So you can glue them, sticky them, washi tape them, however, to the front like that. Again, the one that you're memorizing or just your favorite ones. You like the way that it sounds and you want a bit of encouragement every day when you go to read your Bible. Um, you can place them like I have this one right here. Just use a bit of washi tape. And I used them like little door hinges 
and I could flip it up and or you can just lay it in there just like a bookmarker. Now you can use this the same way I was saying to use one of these and you can put a couple of the flags on here too and you can kind of use it as like a dashboard. I don't know if these little washi tapes, they kind of do. Oh yeah, so look, you could put one of his circle washi tapes, those square ones, because he does have tiny ones. You may have to do a little bit of trimming, but you may be able to put like one or two of these little uh, posty notes on here too. But one of these square, the circle ones, and then a couple of these little flags over here. And you have your own personal little bookmarker that's really cute. It's also like a dashboard. You can pull off your posty note that you need or that your flag for whatever day. Another idea, some more helpful tips. Okay, and that could be as your bookmarker for the moment. All right, so let me go ahead and pop these in here. Again, the quality is super amazing. I kind of sometimes wish that they were both, both sides were decorated, but I like how it's blank too because you can personalize it. So I really, really, really like that. And focus on that. There we go. That is ISBN number. We do have one more. This is the last transparent posty notes. Let me share this. Hopefully I've been remembering to show you all the ISBN numbers. I've been doing my best. You can find all his stuff on his website, but you can also always find it on Amazon too. Okay, so he's keeping up with these beautiful earth tone colors you all okay I don't I won't be keeping the box I'll put them in my I have a I have a box of post notes these ones are colored but they're transparent really love these colors you all and I know a lot of my viewers are going to love these too the lot there is a ton of gentlemen that like marking in their Bibles and these are perfect. They're not girly girl colors. They're not a bunch of flowers. And they're also not just plain neon colors too. Like the guys, when it comes to journaling supplies, they are very limited on what they have available to them. So seeing these earth tone items come out, way to go, way to go, Mr. Penn. So you're really hitting all of the people, when it, like men, women, all ages, when it comes to these journaling supplies. Okay, last item I have, these are scripture cards. Now, when I seen this, the first person I thought about was my sweet sister, Vicki. She's been a long time subscriber and one of my BFFs. Um, she actually teaches, and this can also be for homeschoolers too, like moms who homeschool their children. She um, also teaches children I think a certain age, but it could be multiple multiple kids at uh, cho, what is it? The children like classes. The name is completely missed. Like I'm not even thinking of the name. It's at church, and it's a bunch of kids. Like what is that called? What is that class called? Oh, it's called something, and I'm not even. Sunday but school. Sunday school. There it is. Sunday school. Sunday school classes. So she teaches Sunday school classes. And I don't know if it's different children ages, but these would be perfect. I guess you can do it for all ages, but when you look at the cards, there's that. When you look at the cards, it's kind of for, you know, the younger middle school type. Okay, so look at these. Obviously, they're the big ones, so you can easily... Oh, I do have one more item, but I'll show you. You can easily pin one of these. He sent a ton of these guys, so that would be the last item I'm going to show you. Pin one of these on your um, Bible. You can be, pin it anywhere. You can tape it uh, in your room. You can put it on your refrigerator. It's big. It's bright. It's going to really, really draw attention for the whole family. And what is amazing, it's colored. It's not black and white. It brings attention, and it's a verse. So it's, again, black. It's white on the back, blank on the back. 
there are verses that you guys can help your children memorize. Some of them are a little bit longer than others, but some of them are real easy. So that's why I say of multiple grades, because depending on the grade, if they're reading or not, you can always help them. So these are really, really, really cute. I just seen in my thought like, oh, I got to send these to Vicky because she's she could really, really use these. But again, if you're a homeschooler, you're a mama that teaches your babies at home. This is another amazing tool. So I like that. Depending on the size of your Bible, you can also use those as tippins. Um, you can cut out some of these pictures, but I, I don't know. I don't know if I'll do something like that. So yeah, there's something in this pile for everybody. We got the women, we got the guys, we got the kids, we got ev literally everybody. It's a goodie for everyone. Okay, oh yeah, the last items I have here were these binding clips. There's three of them that he sent. We have the silver, the gold, and the rose gold. I like how they are also adding the personal handwritten card. I like those. Those are super, super cute. But, I mean, I don't need to explain these to you all. You know what you could do with the binding clips. That's for the rose gold. I don't know if it's the same ISBN number. And then you could pick on Amazon or his website which one you want. But I will show you all three of them just in case. Oh, the gold one has a different one. So I don't know what that's about. But all right. So those are the clips. Um, we obviously, I'm not going to keep them in this container. I found a cute little container I had on hand and I put all three colors in here with some prayer cards. So I could just clip them to whatever traveler's notebook I'm using or reading book. I won't clip them to my Bible, but my reading book or something or a devotional. There you go, do it to a devotional. But okay, you all, so that is the video for today. Make sure you go over, let Mr. Penn know that I sent you. Um, again, I don't do the affiliated links. All my, if I do share a link, it's unaffiliated. Um, this channel is just here to help you find the tools that you need for your Bible. And the main focus is just sharing God's word and what I am doing in my, on my spiritual walk. But okay, if you do have any questions, leave them for me in the comments below. I do love communicating with you all. Remember, be a creative tool in our Father's Art Box. I will talk to you all later. Bye.